Hey, what's up guys? When it comes to self-defense, I think you know that I'm an advocate of taking whatever the most efficient and effective implement uh, is in your states depending on law. I carry knives, I carry pepper spray, but a lot of the times I like to carry a walking stick simply because it disappears in most civil situations. You're able to carry it onto airplanes, whereas you probably aren't able to carry a knife or pepper spray, but a walking stick is just fine. Uh, an umbrella is also an option, but when it comes to an actual implement that you will try and defend yourself with, I recommend something that's a little more purpose-built. What you're looking at here is the Raven walking stick made by the Black Swift Walking Stick Company. It's nine ounces. The shaft is fiberglass with a hardwood handle, that ball at the end. They also have a polymer version of the ball that's totally black. I like the wood. I think it makes it look more uh, non-threatening, nondescript. Again, blends into the background. People don't really notice. I've been walking with this stick for a couple weeks now, walking the dog, you know, um, when we go on walks with my wife and Ben and I, pushing Ben in the stroller. Of course, I hadn't had to use this stick, which is great, but it's reliable, it's sturdy, it's very strong. Why I went with this particular stick after looking at a lot of different other walking sticks, and I have other canes, but the reason why I'm using this particular one, aside from the other canes I own, is the weight is really, really good, and it is almost an identical weight and feel and balance to a Kali Eskrima stick. When I wield this uh, from my Kali training, my kind of 12 strikes of Kali, right, the, the 12 different striking patterns, when you use the walking stick here, it's really, really good through the one through four uh, strikes. It's good at the nine and good at the 10. Um, there's an 11 too, it's all in that same area. When you're striking the shoulder blade, the temple, the, the sides, all that stuff, this stick is perfect for that. And I'll show you a little bit about what I mean. So, Kali works on a pretty simple set, uh, set of 12 strikes. The first strike is the first number one strike, which is the clavicle to the temple, which I'm showing here. And the left strike is the same side of the other. The third strike is the right side of the torso, and the fourth strike is the other. Five is the torso strike. The six is the stab to the upper left torso. The seven, same side on the other side. But the eight is the flip side of the seven, which slices around the side of the body and basically does a strike there. The nine, the ten, or the, the eight, the nine, the ten, all work through the knee and the torso, and then you have the eleven, and then you have the twelve, which is the kind of the slicing vertical upward. This is just a replay of that, what you're seeing here. Quickly, now, the twelve strikes is the one, two, which is the clavicle temple on the left and the right side. The torso is the, the three and the four, and the five and the six is both jabs, which you generally don't need with a cane, but uh, in the example here, it's useful, so you should look at it. I really like this handle, you can see here. Really nice wood, feels really good in the hand, and striking the bag over and over again, you know, absolutely no markings or anything like that. Gives a really good puño strike, which is the, the butt or the bottom of the, the walking stick or the handle of the, the stick that you're using in a self-defense situation. The tip I also find pretty interesting. It's got a very small point at the end. Now, I'm not sure of this. Uh, I, I might be able to do some videos of it in the future, but when striking, if you're striking right on this tip area, a lot of force is going to be applied in a very small area. That's why sticks like uh, Screamo sticks are so like powerful, is you don't have to worry about the edge of a blade or anything like that. You just need to strike and strike true. You don't need to focus so much on power so much as you need to just focus on quickness and accuracy. And something like this, you're going to be quick, very quick, and hopefully given its size and the distribution of force, you're going to get a lot of power behind it. Remember, you don't have to throw your whole body weight behind a strike. You just need to be quick and true in where you strike and where you hit. The shock alone of getting hit with something like this is going to stop a lot of fights in, in, before they begin. Hopefully, right, that's the idea. And, if, and as always, it gives you a lot of distance to separate you from, from the individual here that's coming after you. So at the end of the day, as far as a review of this stick, it's very durable. Um, 
I'm not going to go around and smack it against trees, but if it was ever in a situation where I needed to depend on it for my life, the life of my families, I'm very confident it would do the job and be dependable. The fiberglass shaft is very strong, but yet flexible. And that, I think, adds to its nimbleness as far as being able to whip it around and being able to make quick strikes without having to do that load up, you know, Hollywood style fighting. You want to be quick, you want to be nimble, you want to be focused on quick snapping movement, and this is a perfect, perfect stick for that. It reminds me very much of the gentlemanly type of walking stick, but having that wood handle, I feel, makes it more approachable, a little less scary to individuals. So at the end of the day, uh, it's a solid buy for me. It's purchased around $50 to $60, depending on tax and shipping. You can find more information on the Black Swift website, which I'll put in the link. Again, there's two models. This is the Raven model. I can't say much about the Black Swift traditional model. I don't have one. It's half the weight, and uh, I think that this, the Raven model, is more purpose-built for self-defense. So if that is your goal, I think this is the more, uh, this is the preferable option. Okay, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.